So right now, today's a uh, um, significant in getting through kind of our first her, uh, first step on a path to getting these measures in front of our voters. Uh, that was putting sponsorships, getting gathering a thousand sponsorship signatures for each measure, and turning those into the elections division. Uh, we were able to get two thousand for each measure, and we turned those in. Um, and now the process is going to the uh, Attorney General, I believe, to establish a title. And that could go back and forth in the courts. Um, and then we will be off to gather 112,000 signatures, probably in early spring, um, to have it on the ballot by July. How likely is it that you will actually go to the ballot? You know, that depends on the folks that work on both sides here. Uh, my hope is that we are able to do a legislative path. Our ballot measures are um, great and they will get us climate action. They do not have the level of care and detail that legislation is able to do, right? 117 pages is hard to boil down to 15 words. Um, and they're not, uh, the, the investments won't be there. So. Our path and our goal really is for legislation. We're also not willing, after what just happened uh, in June, to let that go and be the only strategy for climate action. With the youth that you see and the youth that we saw in the streets a month ago, it's unconscionable for us to do nothing and to not be ready to make sure that we really are taking meaningful climate action. So I think that it's possible, anything's possible. I can't guarantee a thing, especially after what happened um, when our democracy completely falls apart. It's hard to really know which way is up. Uh, the measures are pretty simple. They are ensuring, the first one is basically ensuring that we um, have a clean energy standard by 2045. And that just means that we're not using fossils for our energy mix. Um, and then the second one basically adds beneficial electrification, so it ensures that our utilities um, are investing more in things that will be getting us off of those fossils. Uh, the third measure is a 100% clean economy, which basically updates and enforces our current climate goals um, and ensures that we'll be at a 100% carbon-free economy by 2050.